Cause I'm back again. I'm reloaded. What up, everybody? Uh, today, man, I'm at the Port of Houston. This is my first time coming into the port for work. Uh, man, it's a runaround. I got emails and documents. I don't have all the documents, so I had to go wait in line with behind a bunch of semis to go stand outside, wait for about an hour or two, get to the window, find out I don't have all the documents. Then I gotta go back to another office to get the paperwork stamped, and then I need another document, so I'm waiting on them to send that to me. All right, so I was able to get the correct paperwork. Now I'm headed back to the other building so I can wait so they can tell me where to go to go pick up the freight. I'm on a run from Houston to uh, Georgia. And, uh, all right. So I got that. That, that went faster than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully, it don't take too long to get loaded. And it's just part of the learning process. I ain't tripping. It's my first time coming to the port, so I know the next time I'm here, I know exactly what to do. And this run, this run requires you to have a Twig card. You know, that's my seatbelt. So uh, it requires you to have a Twig card to come in here. They check you at the gate, they check you at the offices. So, man. I'll get back with y'all. As you can see, it's hurry up and wait. This is part of the game. Transportation business. And so your boy rolling through the port. Hit it to this warehouse. So I can get loaded, man. One pallet going to Georgia. One pallet supposed to weigh 2,600 pounds. All right, guys, man. So I've been in the port of Houston today since 12:30. It is now 4:30. Um, I gave my paperwork to one of the warehouse guys in the warehouse I was told to go to. He drove around. He came back. He said he couldn't locate it. He'd go look for it, but he said he don't think there's anything here. He hasn't come back. One of the other workers told me that the, the load that I'm supposed to, one pallet I'm supposed to get went out on the load of 31, that everything is already gone. All right, I contacted the broker. The broker said the person at the port emailed his customer and said there was one pallet left. There's supposed to be one here, but I'm being told there's nothing here. So they're trying to sort through this. So I'm just sitting here. So I will be paid for my time. Only thing that sucks about it today is Friday. All right, so the load get canceled. It's kind of late in the afternoon to try to find something, you know, for the weekend. So, man, we'll see, man. But this is this is what my scenery looks like right now. Just sitting inside the warehouse. All right, it's your guy T. Swin. Keep you posted. What up, everybody? So, as you can see, man, uh, you can't, I have the lights on over here, but it's dark outside. I'm back home. I'm in my driveway. Uh, that load at the Port of Houston got canceled. They could not locate the freight. Uh, it's gone missing. So the load got canceled. So I spent five and a half hours at the Port of Houston, you know, waiting on them to communicate find you know talk to this point of contact this point of contact to try to locate this freight because the destination it was going to i was trying to get there because uh I'm, i got something important to do you know what i'm saying and i was trying to get to georgia so i got to do so i can do this important stuff so now i'm going to try to find something else going in direction but that's what happened the load got canceled and i missed out on other i missed out on other loads and other possible money. So that's what happened today. Sometimes it's part of the game. <sighs> Sometimes it's how the cookie crumbles. But you got T Swin. I will holler at y'all later. Peace. Boy, I gotta live. I got about 38 summers. See the million on my shirt, son. I'm trying to do some numbers. Southside brother, but I'm living on the north.